You need strong referees when you come to Glasgow and Malky Mackay didn't have that today. I thought last week's decisions were really, really bad, but damn it, this one today topped that I think Malky Mackay must have ordered his referee Afi Wish because this was one of the worst decisions I have seen in a very, very long time. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Fitbit here to review the Rangers versus Ross County game at Ibrox today. It finished Rangers 4. Ross County now, and just want to say off the bat, it's the best I've seen Rangers play. I thought they were really good today, attacking, I thought the link up play, they were passing the ball together, everything was just, they were pulling everything off, you know, the, the nice little touches, the passing, the, this is the best I've seen Rangers play, they honestly looked like they could have put five, six, seven past Ross County today, but there was a major incident in the game, early in the game, at nil-nil, when the tie was alive, and it's, 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 it amazes me how Rangers weren't down to 10 men here. This was an appalling decision. We'll get into it in a minute, but I can quite rightfully see why Malky Mackay is, uh, you know, pissed off tonight. Hopefully he doesn't go on any racist rants. Just, I'm just glad the referee wasn't aging or he'd have probably been getting bombarded by Malky Mackay tweets all night. But th th this was one of the, this was a shocking decision, but we'll talk about it. In a minute. So uh, Rangers started the game on top, as, as you would expect. Uh, Tav, good cross into the path of Cor uh, Goldson. But actually, Kolak flicks it on. He gets like a slight touch, flicks it to his head, and it lands right into the path of Goldson. I don't know why Goldson was in there. I mean, why is the centre-back in the box trying to score? But regardless, the ball falls to him. But, you know, him just being a big man, he, he's, he's not a striker, probably not expecting it. The ball gets stuck at his feet a little bit longer than uh, ideal and, and he takes a shot and it's saved by Laidlaw but this is a really really good opener and again Tav with his crosses just pinpoint I mean Tavernier he, he is the man James Tavernier is there a better ball deliver, delivery guy than uh, than Tavernier in Scotland I, I don't think so I mean m maybe the guy on the opposite side Barisic he's pretty good at whipping a ball in as well but nah Tavernier's immense Rangers here probably should have scored should have been 1-0 up but yeah, Connor Golds, and I guess he's a shite up front as he is, he is in defence. Then it all came to it that, so Bo Sands, I was about to say Bobby Sands, but no, no, he's dead. But Bo uh, James Sands should have been dead after this tackle, man. I, I just cannot believe it. So he's already on a yellow card. Uh, Ross County, long ball, route one Fitba, up to the big man, Jordy Halua. If you don't know who he is, signed him last year on Football Manager. He is an absolute legend for me. But regardless, ball played up to him. Flicks it on to the, into the path of the Rangers goal with his head. It, it, there's nobody there apart from Sands. He's got the beating of Sands. Sands on a yellow, but the yellow doesn't matter. Forget about the yellow. Sands wraps both arms around Halua. Gives him a big hug as if he's in love with the guy. Pulls him down to the ground. And the referee, who's at a great angle, he, can't, he just looks at it and like shrugs his shoulders and, and he plays on. It's like, what the fuck was this? Jordy Halua was away. His last man, he gets he gets dragged to the ground by a guy that's already on a yellow. Doesn't that doesn't matter though? This is this is a straight red. But the referee just looks at it and like ah, I don't, I don't care, mate. Play on, and that's it. The, unbelievable, unfucking believable. This, this was a straight red card if I've ever seen one. Um, but the fact they didn't even get my second yellow, you know, that is unbelievable. Un-fucking believable, and I, I, th this was a horrible decision here. Rangers, you know, as good as they were today, and they were very good, uh, they got lucky here because th this would have changed the game. This would have changed the game. You go down to 10 men this early, and it's a totally different game, but the referee, for some reason, decided not to send them off. Must be the whole Glasgow thing. Who knows at this stage? But Rangers, very lucky here, very fortunate, and it's no surprise that Gio took Sands off at half time. But uh, yeah, Rangers definitely got away with one here. Every time I see it, I, I, I just cannot believe it. I would be surprised if there's anyone out there that thinks this wasn't a sending off. I mean, e e even the most delusional Rangers fan would have to admit this. This was a this was a second yellow. This was a sending off. But for some reason, you know, it, it wasn't given. And the, the referees in Scotland, are, I don't know, are they are they are they shit or are they, are they corrupt? What which one is it? I don't know, I, I don't know, but I mean, some of these decisions are fucking horrendous. I mean, last week there was almost a few murders committed, with Lundstrom getting sent off for a, a, a tackle that should have been a yellow. It was just, oh, it's madness. The decisions are... I think these guys need more than VAR. They need... Fucking, I don't know what they need, man. <laughs> Maybe they need football instructions, rules on FIPA. 
Uh, I don't get it. I need to go back to referee training school. But anyway, right, so they don't get it. And then pretty much straight after that, Lundstrom goes up the park, takes a shot, deflects off the Ross County player, goes past Laidlaw, 1-0. And from this point on, you know, Rangers never look back. They were always going to win it. Uh, after that, we'd write... Scott Wright, who was starting the day, a rare start for Scott Wright, had a really good burst of pace, beat his man, beat Purrington, then gets across into Kolak, who jumps and does like his acrobatic folly. I don't know if he connected sweet with it, but it was right in the corner, so I mean, you can't really, you can't complain here. It was a great goal for Kolak. Well, you know, he, I don't think he got the greatest connection, but it, it still found the corner. Oh, he could not have you know, if, if he could not have placed it in with his hands any better than this. So, is Kolak the best finish on Scotland? I think he might be. You know, I think everything he, he seems to do, you know, everything he touches seems to end up in the back of the net at the moment. So, yeah, no, nah, good for him, man. What a signing he's been for Rangers so far. And then for half time, Tav probably should have made it free. He had a header, and it came off the crossbar. Probably should have scored. Getting to the second half, Rangers have a penalty that's denied. I don't think there's a penalty due to the fact that Ivor caught he's sliding in and it is it's his supporting arm. You know, he slides in and it's his supporting arm that is that is basically on the floor supporting his body and it hits off that. So it's not like it's hit off his arm that's up in the air. It's hit off the supporting arm that is basically helping him slide in. Referee doesn't give I mean, what do you expect him to do? Is he supposed to cut his arm off? Where else is he supposed to put his arm? Honestly, I don't get it. I think this was a, a good call for the referee. I can't believe I'm actually giving the referee credit, but for once I thought the referee made a good call in a, in a game in Scottish football. Uh, what's, the, what's the chances to that, man? Unreal. But we, we had a decision like a couple weeks ago. I think it was Aberdeen versus St Mirren. Declan Gallagher got sent off for something similar. And that was, I think Aberdeen got a penalty for that as well. What can you do? Your supporting arm supports your body. You, can, you can't just cut your arm off, you know? You can't make it disappear. It can't fucking magically just fold up into your body. It, it's there, you know what I mean? So I, I don't understand what's supposed to happen. But anyway, let's not talk about it too much. Referee got this one right, in my opinion. Uh, third goal came not long after that. Probably the best goal of the game. Although the fourth goal was, <laughs> was pretty good as well. Uh, with Kent and Lawrence combining together. Absolutely brilliantly, you know, nice little flex combinations played into Kolak. Kolak finished it. Kolak made it 3 0. That is seven goals now in seven games for Kolak. Like I said, the guy's on fire. Like, the guy is, I mean, I thought Rangers would be in trouble. You know, Alfredo Morelos, unfit, suspended, call it what you want, you know, not available. I thought Rangers would be in trouble, but I mean, Kolak has come in and he's basically, he's basically showed that <coughs> the whole Morelos thing. Isn't even a factor anymore, you know. We don't really, you don't really need Morelos. You've got Kolak, so uh, yeah, I think Kolak has uh, had a great start to the season, and uh, you know, like I said, he's a goal scoring machine at the moment, isn't he? Uh, more chances for Rangers. Kolak probably should have had a hat trick. I mean, it was all Rangers. Ross County never really offered anything. And then we got the fourth goal. Tab crossed it in to Lawrence. Lawrence with a first touch, first time, lovely back heel, flicks it into the path. A Stephen Davis who's running in. Davis gets a rare goal. It was a great assist from Tom Lawrence. I would say it's hard to pick because there's been quite a lot of good players for Rangers to start the season. But I, I would argue Tom Lawrence has been maybe Rangers' you know best player so far this season. I think he's been a great signing. And when they first signed him, I, I wasn't I wasn't convinced. You know, I thought it was a waste. I, I didn't think he was going to do that well. But you know, fuck it. He, he's proved me wrong. He's come in and. He's, d he's done a job, and yeah, the, the guy looks great in that, you know, midfield role. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I think this Rangers team's actually going to do well in the Champions League. Lawrence and Tillman, you know, um, lots of creativity with those two. And then with Col Colac up front, man. Uh, yeah, no, this is a this is a really, really good Rangers team here. Uh, just, could you imagine if they still had Bassey and Aribo, though? I mean, Jesus. Uh, how, how much better would that make them? And that was it then. It finished 4 0. Malky McKay unhappy. And you know, again, like Rangers, Rangers were 100% deserved to win the day. There's no doubt about it. But that that sending off would have changed the game. The Rangers still play like this with 10 men. The Rangers still go on and win 4 0 with 10 men. Uh, we've seen that they couldn't do it against Hibs, even though that was the way I ended up going down to nine. But and that, that changed the game big time. You know what I mean? So I, I do feel. A bit bad for Malky Mackay, but at the end of the day, I mean, Ross County could have regrouped. They could have, you know, stayed in the game, but they didn't. They folded. 
It's not like Ross County lost a man. It was still 11 first 11. And Ross County pretty much didn't offer anything. So while I think the referee did get the decision horribly wrong, I mean, Ross County just were not good enough today. It's as simple as that. Uh, even though they didn't get that sending off in their favour, they, they still could have done something if they wanted to or if they tried to. But Rangers was too good today, too strong. And uh, too strong, un unlike the referee. So there you go, guys. Rangers 4, Ross County. Now, Rangers then go back to the top of the Sidge Premiership. They are a point ahead of Celtic who play tomorrow. But Celtic are playing Dundee United, therefore I expect Celtic to absolutely whip them. Dundee United, horrible start to the season. Jack Ross, is he in trouble? Who knows, he might be after tomorrow's scoreline. But yeah, great result for Rangers today. 4-0 in the Champions League. It doesn't get much better than this, does it, guys? Anyway, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, peace.